Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Chinese New Year. Happy New Year! Well, maybe the day you're watching it, it's not New Year. This year, in the year 2021, the Chinese New Year is on February 12th. So it's a little bit after our calendar New Year, which is December 31st into January 1st. So it's a little bit different. And the reason that is, is because it's based on the moon cycle. So depending on whenever the moon is coming around at the right time of year, is the Chinese New Year. All right, so it's different a little bit every year, and usually it's around the first or second week of February. Sometimes it's in January, depends on the year, okay? So let's talk a little bit about Chinese New Year traditions and how they might be similar or different than ours. But before we get super into that, what is this Chinese New Year all about? Now, the story goes, and this story comes from 1766 BCE, and that's before the Common Era. So that was probably almost 3,000 years ago. So this is a very old story. Um, and the story goes that a long time ago, there was this monster, this beast, and its name was the Year. Okay? And every year, the Year would attack the people that lived on the land. And this monster was pretty crazy looking. He had the body of an ox, which is like kind of a big cow creature, right? Um, it had the head of a lion and it lives in the ocean. So every year, this very crazy, scary monster would attack people. It was so frightening. And people eventually found out that you could scare off this monster with three main things. The color red, Hey, look, I'm wearing red eyes, scaring the year off today. Fire and loud bangs or booms. So what people decided to do that every year when this monster would be maybe attacking, they would launch fireworks into the sky to make big color red everywhere, make big noises. Um, people would wear and decorate with the color red and they would usually hang lanterns for that fire and kind of scaring away this monster. Now, this is what we call a myth or a legend. So this isn't necessarily a true, true story because we don't have all the facts, but maybe there's a creature that's out there. I don't know. Hopefully we don't find out, right? So a little bit about the traditions and things that happen nowadays for the Chinese New Year. It's kind of like a big family reunion. I know for our New Year, a lot of times you get together with your friends or your family to celebrate this new time, all right? Um, and if it's like anything like my New Year's, I have a lot of food, right? And that's the same for the Chinese New Year too. Usually there's fish, dumplings, all sorts of side dishes. And it's supposed to be like a time to celebrate. It's almost like Thanksgiving where you have a spread of food and it's a good time for all. And look at our, look, look how good things are right now, all right? Uh, and during the Chinese New Year and our New Year, a lot of people light fireworks to kind of celebrate. And for the Chinese New Year, they also have it to scare away any evil spirits or bad things that might be lurking around. Oh, and one really fun tradition that's kind of special for the Chinese New Year is that families and couples and older people will give these red envelopes to children with money in it. And it's supposed to be good luck to have this red envelope with money. So maybe we should start doing that over here too, right? And one really big tradition, I know I do for New Year, but maybe you do, maybe you don't, is actually really cleaning and like trying to make your house in order before the New Year. So you have a really nice fresh start, right? It's a good way to start the year, have a fresh clean home, ready to go. Ah, kind of like a peaceful kind of a deal, right? So um, one fun thing along with this uh, Chinese New Year is this thing called the Chinese Zodiac. And every 12 years, there are, uh, there's a new animal that represents that year, okay? So if you look really closely, if you wanna pause the video here, I have a chart with all of the animals and different years that go along with it, all right? So, um, and there's a YouTube video link in here, and I'll put a link in my video of the story of how these 12 animals were picked, because they have the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. So like, why were these animals picked over like, I don't know, a panda? Or why, were, why didn't they pick a turkey? I don't know. 
So you'll find uh, if you watch that clip, you'll find out a little bit more of how those animals were picked. All right. And if you looked really close at this chart and you already kind of figured it out, this year is the year of the ox. All right. So I'm going to take a pause for a minute because our project today is going to have to do with an ox, but every class is going to be doing something a little bit different. So stay tuned and find out what your class is doing for the year of the ox. All right, second grade, for your ox project. Today we're gonna to be making a collage. You say collage, collage. It kind of sounds like college, or like if you get through high school, maybe you want to go to college, but it's collage, emphasize it sound. Anyways, we're gonna be making a collage. And what that is, is when you have a piece of paper and you add things to it, like more paper, string, photographs, ribbon it's having a base of some sort like paper or maybe cardboard or whatever your base of surface is and you add to it so we're going to be making a collage with a piece of paper and magazines so at home if you have a parent has an old magazine they're not using or an old newspaper or maybe an old book but please before you chop up or rip up anything go ask your family okay um I just happen to have a bunch of old pieces of magazine papers that I found in the books today. So um, if you need some sort of magazine pages or you're really struggling to find things, you could always maybe go to like a dentist office and see if they have old ones they're getting rid of. Or um, I can drop some off in the office too, but you gotta let me know if you need any, all right? So um, if you have colorful paper, I would recommend actually using a red piece of paper for your base today because we're going to be, like I said, Chinese New Year has a lot of red and it's kind of ward away the evil spirit. So I'm using red paper, but if you don't have red paper, that's fine. You can use white or if you want to like color a piece of paper red, that's good too, all right? So I'm going to show you how to draw where your parts are going to go and what you're going to do and then how we're going to do it, all right? So. Um, let me switch my camera here so we can start talking through this. All right. So um, once you have that piece of paper uh, in front of you, we're actually going to very lightly draw our bull head. Okay. So we know where we want to put things and what size this thing should be. So um, because bulls have really big horns, I want my paper the long horizontal way today. All right. So. I'm going to start by kind of drawing the shape of the head, which is kind of ovalish, but it gets skinnier at the front because he's got a snout. So I'm going to draw kind of like uh, almost a human looking head where I do an oval that goes up and down. Oh my goodness, that you can't see it all. Oh, let me grab a Sharpie real quick. Well, I was forgetting something. My lighting is not very good in here. So um, like I said, we're going to draw an oval there we go a nice oval for the top up here kind of like a hill or an upside down letter u but then we're going to kind of just turn it into a really skinny one where it's going to come down okay um and we're going to put our nose in here too right away that's going to be another different magazine piece so we're going to put a big oval right at the bottom here and it's okay if these overlap a little bit you see how my lines are overlapping because we're going to cover these with magazine parts anyway okay from there we also want to add some horns like i said a bull is really famous for its big old horns so we're going to kind of have from one corner we're going to swoop in to add our uh, kind of like a big swoosh kind of a uh, look so i'm going to start towards the corner i'm going to go down and i'm going to go right in the head that's okay because that's it's where it's attached and then I'm gonna get skinnier as I go back all right so there's one horn and I'm gonna do another one from this corner I'm gonna go down over and back up all right and then from there I'm gonna get some ears and ears are actually kind of weird on a bull they're kind of under the horns and they kind of go pretty similar shape and uh curve out from the head. So I'm going to just go kind of like a, an eyeball almost. I'm going to go up and down and down and up. Make an ear on each side. All right. Whoop. 
All right, so I'm not gonna worry about the eyes yet. I can kind of say, oh, I'll probably have them around here, but I'm gonna be putting a piece of magazine right there. So you won't be able to see it, okay? So here's where we're gonna start getting a little funky with it, right? You're gonna, like I said, you're gonna need some magazine pieces or some pictures to cut up, and you're also gonna need glue at some point, but that we won't worry about right now. So from here, I'm gonna say, ooh, I want this to be my head. I found this really cool blue piece of paper. I would recommend trying to avoid pictures of people because that's going to just look up like you're just going to look at the person then. So I would say try to focus on finding colors, like lots of different colors. There might be people in here, but you don't have to use the whole piece of paper. Like for this one, if you see Minnie and Mickey Mouse in this person, you're going to look at the person and the Mickey and Minnie Mouse. You're not going to be looking at your ox, all right? So from here, I like to kind of put it, I like to plan, I'm like, I'm going to make it bigger than what I drew it, okay? So I'm going to start with my head and I'm going to use a Sharpie. You might want to use a marker or something too. And I'm going to say, okay, let's see how big that is. I'm going to like, okay, I'm going to make an oval that's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to try to draw about the same shape but bigger okay and from there i'm going to cut it out you can see i got a couple of words stuck in there too if it's just a few that's okay but you don't want to have the whole thing covered in words because then you're just going to be reading your bowl and you want to just see the bowl so we're going to cut that out and bigger is better here because when you're done cutting it, you can say, oh boy, that's really big. Is that about the right size I want? Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. But from here, if you want to do some trimming or making it a little smaller, you can. Okay, so I'm gonna do, oops, that looks pretty close. Okay, so from here, we're gonna keep this off so we don't have to, so we can see everything, but I'm gonna continue tracing onto other colors of paper the rest of the bowl. So I will be fast forwarding here a bit, but here's your time to get working. I'll show you how to assemble it in just a moment, okay? All right, so I have all my pieces for my bowl. I have my head and I kind of trimmed it up a little bit more. I've got my nose or my snout. I even added some of those eye colors. I just found kind of a, a paper color that worked well. Got my ears and I got my horns, all right? Now, um, we're gonna get to the point of gluing it on and you might be like, well, Mrs. Fondre, I can still see some of my, my lines I drew. You know what? That's why you have drawn yours in pencil on your paper so you're able to erase it and you won't see it anymore, okay? Just so I, um, don't see it anymore. I'm actually going to flip my paper over. Da, 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 da. And this is when you're going to start assembling it. Okay. I would always start with your head first. So you know where it is and you'll glue that down. Then you'll be gluing down your snout where your little, your little bowl can be breathing right there. Glue that down. You can get those ears on. And don't forget those big old horns, right? Mine go off the paper a little bit, and that's okay. And then from here, got my eyes, all right? If you want to, for your nose and for your eyes, if you grab your marker or a Sharpie or something, you could actually draw in some of those uh, eyes, put some of those dots in there so that your, your ox can see, right? And then your nose kind of has these ovals that go off from one side Ooh. to the other. Ooh. All right. So put that towards the bottom where his nose is. And then you'll glue it in from there. All right. So let me switch back to my camera here for a minute. All right. I haven't glued mine down, so I'm not going to pick it up right now. But um, the point here is to get this idea of you can use other things besides markers, crayons, color pencils to make art. You can use things that you kind of find around sometimes, all right? So if you, like I said, if you need magazines or uh, newspapers or something, let me know. I will say for a pro tip, try to avoid letters 
and try to avoid um, actual things like people or animals or um, I don't know, shoes because people are going to look at those objects then and not your entire piece, okay? Because we want them to look at everything, right? So if you try to stick to just colors or maybe like flowers or something that's more about the color, that's going to help people go, wow, that's awesome. I love it. So, um, and if any questions, concerns, please let me know. Like I said, if you need some supplies, I'd be happy to throw some magazines and rip some pages out for you to send home. But other than that, I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Happy creating and happy Chinese New Year.